So in the end, I sucker punched him. What? It, seriously? Yup. Th there's no way. Shadow is practically a fighting machine. Yeah, well, hopefully after that little escapade, he won't bother you or me again. I don't know. I don't think one measly punt is enough to stop him. I mean, what if he comes after you again? Why, yes, Jason. I'd love to read another story. That's not what I asked. And I think I know the perfect one. Yeah, okay, sure. Just change the subject. It's not like your life is at risk or anything. This is a story about someone who wants to put up a fight with someone, but can't. Ignoring the problem won't make it go away, Crystal. Jason! Hush! It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it, and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you! It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said
said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake. Right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you! Wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you! Wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're, You're welcome. welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. You know, I think I'm going to start calling that ladybug Oscar. Hilarious. Now, going back to what I was saying. Where is that squirrel? Never mind. You! What do you want, Shadow? I want a rematch. Now! Look, you had that punch coming to you, because you nearly scared the crap out of Jason. No offense, Jason. None taken. He's a brute. You are a fool if you think I'm just going to forgive and forget. Well, like I said, you had it coming, so goodbye. No, I'm not leaving without another fight. Um... Shadow, um, could you excuse us for a moment? Crystal, 
I think you should fight him so he'll leave us alone. He doesn't have the balls to hurt me. Besides, it's illegal to physically assault a woman. I don't think he gives a shit about your love. Well, I'm not fighting him. I'm just gonna act like he's not here. I'm sorry. Did you not hear me when I said ignoring your problems won't make them go away? I heard you. I just chose not to talk about it anymore. And I'm not talking about it now. <sighs> Come on, Jason. Think. <gasps> I have an idea. I just hope Crystal doesn't murder me. Hey, Shadow. Could you do me a favor? What? Well, before you fight Crystal, I need you to... What? Why would I do that? Just do it. This isn't a trick, is it? No. Would I lie? Mm. Well, okay. Hey, Crystal. My answer is still no, Shadow. No, no, I'm not here to fight you. I just need to tell you something. <sighs> okay. What is it? That's two. Two fingers. <laughs> Damn it, it was a trick. <laughs> Crystal sure is showing that finger his place. Oh yeah, she certainly is, Sonic. She certainly is. Want some popcorn? Oh yeah.